please rise and welcome your hosts. Bill. And Gary. Initiating two point phase three. Ascension protocol. Begin program. Well folks, we're back on the damn truth point show. Uh you know, we've gone through a lot of trials and tribulations, a lot of pain, a lot of uh, issues that have been uh, thrown in front of us by God, obstacles. Uh, specifically, when we got back to our undisclosed location yeah. in an undisclosed state. The, the earbug shit, the earworm, uh, no, it didn't work, it failed. We got uh, back and our compound was burned down. It was ransacked, uh, burned down by a bunch of animals. Uh, so that's good, you know? We don't know who it was, but it was probably, uh, Tom. Oh, uh, you think? I mean, the evidence aims that way. We had him- we had him chipped, and we saw, like, on a map, him moving slowly towards the compound. When we got back, uh, it w it was just a pile of- of debris. Well, people can do anything on the computer. You know, they can make, uh, information. You think he hacked the computer and made it blow up our fucking compound? Could've. Anyway, we're in a new compound. In the same, well, I shouldn't say it's the same state. We're in an it's undisclosed in the, location. In the undisclosed Nebraska location oh, that we're always. You just ruined it because you said Nebraska. I'm sorry. We 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 said before the show we weren't going to say Nebraska because then it's going to get we're going to get fucking or it's just going to get burned down again if you go go around saying. Well, they can't burn it down again. There's only like 40 houses in this fucking state. They'll find us. Jesus Christ. Anyway. It's been tough out there. You know, we tried to find a new gig. We tried to we tried to uh, lateral into a new uh, a new thing. It's called podcasting, and we thought, oh, this will definitely save uh, the fledgling Truth Point ship. When we came back to streaming, guess who's gone? Perfect Women. Guess who else is gone? Venture Brothers. I don't even know. That's not even a streaming show. I don't think. Uh, they canceled Rick and Morty. It's all gone. Everything's Rick gone. and Morty's been canceled. They're just showing old episodes. It's all gone. They can't afford it. But you know? the reason the reason all these shows are getting canceled, why? Because they don't have this. Merch. They ain't pulling their fucking weight with the They're not making the, the sales. The, the deliverables. They're not making the sales. They're not raking in in the moolah. You gotta rake it in, people. That's what it's all about. So we have a two pronged uh, uh, approach. And what it is, is uh, we're going to make money for the parent company, number one. That's Actually, right. Actually, that's number two. Number one, we're going to make money for ourselves by a merch. Number two, the merch will uh, raise awareness of the program, which will trickle down to eventually yes, making uh, money for the parent I company. I mean, and hopefully we can use the merch sales to appease our uh, corporate gods and uh, prevent them from, you know... These these the animals, axe. all they know is numbers. They're going to look at the numbers. They're going to see uh, products flying off the store shelves, em emblazoned with our faces, they're and they're going to say, "We can't, we can't cancel numbers. this. If we cancel this, there's going to be people coming, coming into our houses. People will come. Well, who knows what the fans will do? Is all I'm saying. They're driven. They they they. This is a shirt. This is a, one of two the merch, two the shirts. Merch soothes them. It calms their savage souls and makes them calm. Exactly. This is, and everybody's going to need one of these shirts. Except there's only two right now. These are prototypes. That's right. You can't have these. These are exclusive customs. These are priceless. They are worth one thousand dollars a piece. More than that. More times than that. Mo a thousand times a thousand. That's right. If you can imagine such a number. Literally impossible to imagine. And if they cancel the show, just imagine how much it will be worth then. Well, don't say that because then they're gonna they might cancel. All right, all right. If they no, if they cancel the show, it's gonna be worth fucking nothing, for the record. But uh, well, it's like if an artist dies, their uh, paintings become worthless. Yeah. Worthless, because you can't get the artist to sign the painting. So then, why the fuck? Why even buy it? You can't you can't bring the painting to the artist and say, "Look what I have," and then they think you're cool. No, this fucking Tom character—he's—he's he's really dropped the ball as of late. We hired him specifically. 
not to burn down our shit, and I also mean, not to ruin the show, and he's done both of those things. I'm very much beginning to regret even bringing him on board of Truth Point. It's something I've thought about, too. But, tonight we're here to talk about the new Truth Point line of products, which we're very excited Ooh, about. Yeah. You know, I think we're going to kind of pivot from a content-based show to a you-send-us-money-based show. Yes. It, it just It's more direct, it's more honest, and it, honestly, uh, it's what you want, it's what you need, and you gotta have uh, this gear, and so tonight's topic is merchandise, and we've got a, a great uh, video. Yes, we do. If you could go ahead and roll that, please, now. Roll that. Roll that shit. Truthbot. Yes. Yes. It all starts with a single spark. The flames of perseverance enlighten the spirit of discovery, motivating us to achieve new heights in a world of uncertainty and danger. Within the twinkle of a child's eye lies an infinite spectrum of possibility, the blood of inspiration which would activate our power and enrich the core of our existential purpose. The instant I saw it, my dopamine receptors lit up so fast that I thought I was having a seizure. I wasted decades of my life, not knowing that a few simple purchases could end my pain forever. September 11th, 2001. For what did they give their lives, if not for the passion of generational progress? Are you willing to face the blade? Or are you weak? Will you step up to the challenge and answer the call of our modern era? Or crawl back into the primordial ooze with the rest of the cavemen? The time is now. A crisis boils over the earth with the heat of a thousand suns, melting upon the cross and rising again in the form of exclusive gear. Answer the call. Truth Point Home Goods Essentials. Coming 2021. To your favorite stores. What more can you say? That's just a taste. That's just a taste of what you're going to be. It's a sample. You're it's going to be. You don't get the whole thing. You don't get the whole thing just yet. Thank you. Just a whisper, a sniff of what you're going to be fully obese off of soon enough. I promise you. Yeah. It's just a hormone. It's just a, you know, endorphin. It's a molecule. And we've got the whole meal cooking in back. You're going to love this shit, people. A, a, mer a merchandise buffet. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, so, uh, to present our coming line of merchandise, uh, I would, we would like to first begin with, uh, we have, do we have the images ready, Truth Bot, for the, uh... Yes. The Home Essentials line. Okay, could you bring, bring one up, please? Truth Point Home Goods Essentials. Okay, we're gonna start off like this. Is that a diaper? It's not. Interesting. Uh could be used as a diaper but what it is is actually it's a face mask so mm. you've uh have you heard of this thing going around called the corona uh virus covid19 the one and only right well uh this is something and it's become sort of like uh the newest thing to wear uh, a mask and so uh we thought all right let's let's uh jump on this opportunity yeah and we're coming out with a beautiful face mask it's made out of 100 percent uh, material and you can you can just uh, it's got latches you can slide it over your ears it protects you from any disease uh, you know virus mental whatever whatever ails you and it's it's just 39.95 and uh, that's pretty cheap to protect yourself from a disease that could cost you tens of thousands of hundreds of millions of dollars and you're it could kill you it could kill you I mean, and, absolutely. and if you don't have this mask uh, you could die I mean, I would buy two, personally. I would put one on the back of my head to protect the back as well as the front. Uh, and if you put one around your uh, your pants, around your ass, and if you fart, it will filter out the fart and leave only uh, clean air. Yeah, and, hypothetically. and you shit all over it. But then you can't put it, don't put it back on your face. But that, but that's why you buy, Absolutely. that's why you buy a couple of them. Yeah. That's why you buy a couple. That's why you get the 12-pack, people. You want to get the 12-pack. 
And uh, it, to illustrate our point here, we've got a, can we show the next uh, image? Uh, th so this is, ooh, bad man, bad man. We don't like this guy, right? No. He's, uh, he's, I don't know what he's got there in his mouth. Uh, looks uh, dirty, looks gross. Hmm. He's got steam coming out of the end of it. Um, but, uh-oh, next slide. Much better. And now if you, if you, you can just go around, you can only, it's forty nine ninety nine, and you just slap this on anybody who's uh, making dirt in your air. And that's kind of, that might be the better solution too, is like, you know, yeah. either you can wear the mask or you can put it on everybody around you. Absolutely. And now this one's uh, fifty dollars. I mean, the price is just going up. I mean, the demand is just. If insane. you don't get in on this early, we're not responsible. I mean, these the materials this this thing is made out of are are very limited. Earth does not have enough of this stuff for everybody. No, it's very hard to get you know these essential goods. It's a uh, very hard to procure them in the middle of wherever the fuck uh, disclosed Nebraska. Uh, no, but there, uh, we've, we've, we've done, done a pretty good, good job. We've, we've got some good shit. There's, yeah, there's a country in South America. I won't name names. Rhymes with Olivia. And uh, recently a regime change there means that we might get access to more of the raw materials. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, next slide, uh, please. Uh, these are uh, some Ooh. beautiful, uh, high quality pre- Premium, premium. Hello there, sweetie pie. Uh, quality. Beautiful. This is a limited time drop. Uh, you can slide these on. You can make your girlfriend wear these. You say wear these, or that's it. It's over. And the great thing is, uh, one leg. Get your your right leg. You got the drill. Left leg. You got Derek. Both of uh, the two main characters of the Truth Point program. Uh, and it's fashionable and that's only $125 and you can wear them every day. It'll keep your legs warm It'll make your ass look great and uh, If you're doing yoga and you're not wearing these you're a sucker. I Think they look nice, you know, they look nice. They just they're just something nice you can wear you heard it from the man himself They, they look nice And we will we will sign these for a fee a signer's fee, yes. Uh, this is, uh, this is the truth, truth bot playing cards. Yes. Card, card, playing card. It's only one card. What you do is you buy this and you can, you can add it to your existing deck of playing cards. It does not include the rest of the, uh, the cards in a, in a card deck. It's a, well, it's, it's just a piece of card. It's one card. It's $20. Uh, next slide. Next slide, please. I hope I get the fucking Joker. Now this is good. What this is, is that? This is this is you're gonna want to build a wine basement just for this. It is uh, a two know, point I'm high quality Kingmaker edition luxury line deluxe triplet wine set. Uh, you know it's aged to perfection, no doubt. Yes, no doubt. Yes, and it's got a, uh, you know, value of a hundred and forty-four thousand dollars. Certainly does have a value. If you're a wine collector, uh, you would you would rather fucking bulldoze your entire grape harvest for a year just to get just to get a hold of three bottles of this high quality wine. Oh, I'd love a sip of that. Let me tell you. And we can't even afford to drink it ourselves. Because we made Absolutely it cost not. too much. We set the price too high. We I mean, I'd love a sip. I'd love one, but uh, even just a little sip. If any if any millionaires bucks. out there, a billionaire, wants to buy the wine and enjoy a sip with us. You know, if uh, Elon's watching, I know I know Elon. He's on the website all the time. He's, uh, he's constantly posting. He's always posting, he yes. He craves our attention and our approval. Elon, just buy the wine. If he, if he buys the wine, I will respect him. And not, not until then. And not after. But for a moment, we will respect him. Yes. Uh, can we please continue with the uh, presentation? Okay, so this is pretty cool. Uh, this is a party hat. And uh, yeah. 
The best part about this is uh, we don't we don't mail anything to you. We don't do anything. You print off. You print this off at home on a piece of paper, and uh, it you'll have instructions, and you can make this Truth Point party hat in your own home, homemade. I mean, that's just fun. It's just the fun of uh, being a factory worker, like in your own home. That's right, and 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 we don't pay you. You pay us seven dollars. We send you the instructions. You get to print it off. Um, it says, uh, you know, a high quality font. It says Truth Point, the name of the show. Yes. And uh, if you're having a party with a hundred guests, uh, you know, that's seven hundred dollars in our pocket. You know, you're supporting the show, so you can feel good about that. You don't even really need to get yourself a present because you're already doing something cool for us. Absolutely. And uh, doing something cool for us is uh, the best present. Present. I mean, look at these ladies. They look very nice. We've got a uh, yeah. This is a uh, this is our model. Those are the uh, Dixie chicks. This is uh the late Princess Diana. Oh, sorry. And she's looking very sporty. Now I see some people here in the uh, the chat program. I've opened up. Uh, they're saying, oh, if I if I buy the party hat, can I can I just uh, I can just print off as many copies as I want? You cannot. You have to you have to buy the PDF each time you you have to buy the you can't you can't just copy it that's that's stealing next slide this is what you need this is what you need why are you going outside you every time you go outside your chance of getting shot in the face is 40 50 percent now what if your chance was 50% getting shot in the face, but your survival chance was 100% because you have a potentially, not allowed to say proven, bulletproof face shield? I mean, why would anyone even want to shoot you in the face if you're uh, repping the, the greatest news and entertainment program of all time right on your face? That's a good question. Well, they might, they might, uh, think it's scary they might think the face shield is scary and so uh there's an explanatory t-shirt we've got here and it says yes. truth point is a popular web stream i am not a dangerous threat and the shirt itself uh, doesn't come with a shield but it is available for your best offer whatever we think is your best offer you come to us you say you know i have a hundred bucks i this is the money i was going to spend on rent if you're a rich looking guy it has to be like ten thousand dollars your best offer gets you this t-shirt affirmative affirmative thank you um but now just uh take a little quick break from our presentation here of these great products a breather a little bit of a breather uh there is something we have to address uh you may have seen this earlier on facebook marketplace uh, our former social media manager, Tom, uh, made a post, he made a video claiming that he is selling official Truth Point merchandise, uh, but I it's actually, it. it's just fucking crap. It's fucking just fucking lunatic. crap. He made this post on Facebook Marketplace, got 11 likes, well, it got 11 reactions, a couple of them were frowny faces. Yeah. I mean, they're not necessarily like some people post the, the like the red 100 and like a, a crying man. People on Facebook are, are pre language, so they just have little pictures. Very simple. Yeah. Nonverbal, they call it. Uh, so let's let's take a look at this video that Tom posted on Facebook. Ah, welcome back. It's Truth Point, everyone's favorite show. But today, got a special video. It's called an advertisement. And as you can see, I'm wearing your typical merch. I got the Truth Point hat and I got the Truth Point t-shirt. And that's, that's for sale in the store. And you can buy them. And I'm offering you a special deal right now. You send me your address. You buy 100 hats and 100 shirts. 
okay? And then you sell the 100 hats and the 100 shirts to other people for a higher cost, and you can start making some money, real money. But that's not all. That's not all. We've got more products. We've got so many products for you. Do you like soda? Well, how about a Truth Point soda? It's Truth Point branded. Uh, it's got 10% less water, so it's got more sugar and more nutrients. It's healthy for you. But you're saying, you're saying, Tom, I don't, I don't care for water. I don't care for soda. Okay, I need sports. I play sports, and I need my energy. Well, guess what? We've got, forget all those other aid, okay? We've got the aids right for you. It's TP aid, okay? Truth point aid, baby. It's purified water. It's a lot of other things in it. Don't worry about what's in it. It's healthy for you. You can drink it while you're sitting at the computer. You can drink it in bed. You can do whatever. You know, we've got yellow berry, we've got hurt, and we've got blue smell. And you can just go to the store and say, give me the TP aids, give it to me. And cause it's in stores already. And last but not least, last but not least, we've got the most important essential thing of all, Truth Point toilet paper. Hand stitched by me. I made all of this for you so you can clean your stinky little butt. Buy my stuff! Do not buy any of that shit. It's un unofficial, it's unauthorized by the, the men upstairs. No, and we're not, and the worst part is we're, we're not profiting from it at all. No, not at all. Um, yeah, that was posted to the Facebook marketplace. This is another clownish attempt to undermine us. I, I don't know why he, he's doing this. He thinks he can just uh, leech off of us, leech off of our brand, and he sucked it dry, and now it's not even viable. In no, any... our, our brand is fucking dead. It's dead in the water. And I should note that he posted this on in the Facebook marketplace in, uh, I think it was Fayetteville, Louisiana. Nobody knew what the fuck he was talking about. We're not popular there. No. No, they don't for, care for obvious us. reasons. Anyway, Tom fucked us over. He tried to sell our merch. So what we're doing is we're selling merch of him. This is called the Arsonist right. Slider. Yes. A reference to the fact that I think he burned down our fucking compound. And it's free. If you provide information leading to his arrest. Let's get his ass. Dead to rights. Back to the back to the product line. Uh can, next next product, please. Uh this is the uh we've got a subscription box plan coming out in twenty twenty one. Yeah. And it's gonna have all kinds of random stuff. You don't even know what you're gonna get. You might get the Truth Point uh, nutritional drink, 10,000 IQ uh, beverage. You might get the Truth Point, I don't know what that is behind there. The Truth Point t-shirt. Next slide. That looks like Pick or Rick. I don't know what that is. Uh, we got the uh, Truth Point uh, laundry machine. We got a uh, food dehydrator with its Truth Bot. Uh... Yes. Truthbot branded. Is Truthbot's brain in there? Looks like some tomatoes or uh, oh. grapefruit. I guess grapefruit's better if it is dry or I don't know. But it's a good uh, way to make a banana jerky or whatever the fuck you want to do. You might, yeah, you might, you might be able to get these things in the subscription box. Next slide. Oh, oh. there's the Truth Point uh, lawnmower thing with the roof. Or, yeah, I think it's a lawnmower. So, if you send that's and that's the highest tier. If you subscribe at the highest tier, you have access to all the items. Highest tier is nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine dollars per month. That's paid on the first of the month, uh, and it's also paid the first time you subscribe to it. So, if you subscribe to it on the twenty eighth, you pay nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine. The first of the month, you pay nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine. There's no way around that, okay? If you don't want to pay twice in a row really quick like that, you just wait till the first to oh. subscribe. That's and all there is to it. if you stop paying the $10,000 a month, you gotta, you know, mail the fucking tractor back via snail mail. Who knows how much that's gonna cost. It's, it's, yeah. So it's honestly cheaper just to keep paying for the 10000 a month, right? Absolutely. And it's very, like you said, that's a good point. It's very clear in the contract 
that everything that comes in the subscription box is rental. Okay, you stop paying the membership fee, it goes right back to us. Yeah. We give it to some other uh, for, uh, fan of the show. Uh, got a Truth Point Aqueduct that we're working on. Oh, they're, they're very useful. Essential. That's uh, right. Next slide. Is there another slide? No. Okay. Well, I think I think you have a couple things to show as well, right? I mean, yeah, I've, I've, I've got, got so much. Shit. I got products at the wazoo. Let me tell you. Truth Point Home Goods Essentials. This is also part of the Truth Point Home Goods Essentials lineup. I got it right here, baby. I got them right. Here. This ain't just a, a picture on the internet. This is the real shit. Uh, this, these are some real working products that are have already. Uh, the boys in the lab have come up with. Well, this particular one, it won't fit on top of my head because I believe it was designed for a child. You want to... Or like a pinhead from the circus. What are you so, doing? Well, just so people can see, you know. Now people can see the fucking seams of my... Well, don't worry about that. I'm worried about it. There you go. You know, uh, this is a very lovely hat. You can put beer in here if you like, uh, you know, having a drink every night. Uh... But you can put uh, lots of things in here. You can put uh, juice, you can put uh, soda, you yeah. can put uh, medicine. Uh, you know, you can do Pepto, like my... Pepto-Bismol in one. Yeah, Pepto-Bismol in one and a uh, spicy tomato sauce in the other. Spicy marinara. You know, best of both worlds. Yeah. Does that work both ways? So you can suck things into it, but could you spit things out and then have it go back up the tube? You could absolutely do that. So if you wanted to drink the beer in one and then vomit in the other, you can do that. That's right, really right like that. That's really convenient. How much? How much? Is it, right how much? Is, how much are we offering this for? Uh, uh one. One hundred dollars. Good. But you know, you can do like my wife does. Uh, she puts uh, bottles of milk in both of them and she puts it on the baby, and the baby just sucks on the straw all day. You know, it's it just naturally latches onto the straw, and it's very beautiful. Uh. It's very beautiful to witness, you know. You, or uh, and that and that helmet is guaranteed not to crush a baby's skull, is what you're saying. And yes, it is well, a, not guaranteed by us, but like hypothetically guaranteed. I mean, you might put it on wrong and accidentally crush the baby. We're not responsible for whatever happens to your kids. Yeah, I don't know what you're do how you you're putting fucking helmets on your babies, but uh, I don't do that. I don't do it. I do it the right way. You drop your kids, don't come crying to us. That's right. So. Uh, you know, I put up the graphic. I, I got a, my own little drink, the My Source uh, Vitality Liquid, and uh, this is a this is a home good essential that uh, this shit is liquid gold, people. And you can put that in your in your little. You can put it in the hat if you want. You can put it in the hat after you buy it. And uh, I've been drinking this shit since I was a baby, and I believe that it has helped suppress numerous health issues that I've had over the years, and. Uh, the truth point, my choice vitality liquid uses the power of chemical DNA to electrocute viruses and shields you from the wrath of God uh, using power. Uh, and you can drink it. Uh, I got another. You see here, I got this mug. Uh, there's supposed to be a truth point sticker on there, but we don't have enough stickers. We're all out of stickers. High demand. High demand on the stickers. We will the have... The demand is insane, people. It's going... We will have shelves. more stickers as soon as we get more profits, basically, is all there is to but it. Yeah, well, I know. We're, we're, we're trying, trying to get them to send them more stickers over here, but the post office doesn't think our address is real for some reason. So they're just ignoring our shit. Yeah. It's hard. It's hard, is what we're saying. And well, uh, when your address is, like, compound in the woods. Yeah. Uh, I saved the best for last, people. You know, get that graphic up. Let's see it. Can we get the graphic up, please? Ooh, baby. The true point genes, people. Oh, yes. The one and only. So this is what, uh, this is pretty fashionable these days. It's called raw denim. No, this is normal denim. Well, what, well you just call it raw denim, and it's more expensive. No, this denim, denim has been cooked by uh, the finest chefs. Uh... This is a superior quality polymer. 
You can't get this in the, the Target or fucking Ross Shop for Less or whatever the fuck you're buying your jeans at. Uh, it's stain resistant. You could, you could shoot a load directly on here and it would roll right off into the toilet. Let me tell you. Well, is it and, one of those things where, like, if it gets hit by a load, it's going to bounce off at the same speed and hit you? Well, it'll hit whoever fired the load at you, yeah. So, hopefully... Ricochet. Yeah. yeah. It's a fantastic quality, low, low price. And, uh, you need to get on the horn now and order this shit, because people are going to... People are talking about these products, and it won't be long before they're all, uh, in somebody else's house. Press 1, 2, 3 in the chat, and, uh... Enter your email password, and we will log into your email, and we will send you a coupon. All these products are limited supply. There's a, uh, I mean, I found them all in the, an abandoned, broken down vehicle. Uh, so they're all very, very limited, because who knows when they're going to abandon another car, like, right near our house again. Price, they're priceless, essentially. They're quite priceless, yes. Yes, so the products you found... They're priceless because they're one of a kind. These shirts are priceless because they're two of a kind. All the products that I mentioned earlier, the mock-ups, obviously they're not made yet. Uh, but those are also priceless because yeah. they're just ideas. And every every idea is kind of priceless. But what we need right now is we need cash flow. We need investors. We need we need money men to come in. You can put any, any damn thing in this cup. It. All right, so uh, we've already introduced our product line. We're very excited and happy to get rid of this junk and uh, give it to you people in exchange for money. But we we'll also have a special guest who is well acquainted with the, the, the topic of merchandise. It's somebody that has a lot of their own merchandise as a performer, yeah, as an entertainer. Uh, that person is... Major Entertainer. Major right. Entertainer. Major Entertainer Mike the remote H. viewing cyber interrogation cube. Thanks for having me back on Truth Point. Hello. So happy to have you here. Um, I was initially uh, drawn to your act. Um, not so much by what the things you did as the things you sold. And I noticed you're a very, you're a professional uh, you've got a charismatic, sort of reminds me of the guy that used to be on the, the back of the, the wagon or whatever, yeah. you know, with his wares. And so we thought, yeah, let's bring on Mike. Uh, as far as I know, you're a stand-up character. You helped uh, Bloomberg in his time of need. And now I suppose you will help us in our time of need. You know, I'm actually listening to you guys all night, and you really, uh, you definitely have the right idea. You just got to go about it the right way. Mm -hmm. yes. The thing, the thing about merch that you have to remember is that you have to make the merch about the person buying it. Do you see what I'm saying? I think it, well, I think it should say truth point on it, but no, go ahead. What are you, what do you mean? Back in the 1950s and sixties, you know, people used to ask for autographs when they saw a celebrity or someone they were excited about. Now it's all about photographs, selfies because right. they're in the picture. You've got to make the customer a part of it. You how, see what I'm you, getting at here, guys? Do that? I mean, no, but maybe you... Is you... it like when Coca-Cola puts out the cans that says this can is has the soul of Peter, or this can is Spencer, or this can is Robert? Well, they already did that. You can't they did it. did it for like 2,000 different names. He put it together, though. He put it together. He saw it. That's exactly what I'm talking about. People are merch, and merch is people. That's right. You guys were talking about stickers? Yes. Can I show you some of my major entertainer stickers? I would uh, love to see it. We would love, we would love that. Yes, please. Here's the thing. Stickers are great. They're, they're just they're so innocent. They're such an innocent product. Everybody loves stickers. They're very low cost to make. So it's, it's a very low stakes kind of thing, you know? See, you can try out different designs, see what oh, takes. So, so you, you sell the sticker itself. What we've been doing is putting the sticker on different items we found in an abandoned car and then trying to sell those. Oh. Yeah. Well, then you are getting into higher shipping rates and whatnot. 
Yes. Do you understand uh, what I mean? Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. So, yeah, here, so the, here, the sticker is more pure. Okay. Yeah, please. The, the, the sticker is just an innocent, fun little thing. Now, you, you know, first of all, first of all, you know, I've always wanted to be a merchandiser. Okay. And now I've got a major entertainer product line. First, I had to build a brand, then I became my brand, and now I'm using my brand to sell my brand of stickers. That is a drawing of me. What, are you uh, eating a hoagie there? Oh, I'm, I'm singing into a, a rather dark microphone. Uh, but, oh, I was going to say uh, it looked like a rat with a long tail. Well... It's, no, it's a, good, it's a good you've sticker. Got, you, you've got to see these things in real life. Now, here's the thing. They're cheap to make, they're reasonably, you know, fair price to the consumer, but then the consumer takes the sticker, whatever the sticker might be, here's another one, and then they stick it on something, and it's an advertisement for your act, or your show, or your stream, or whatever uh, it is that you're working on. Synergy. And then they got to buy another sticker, because they've stuck it on something. That's right. That's true. A sticker you've used is worthless. Sticker, well, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but it, it's it's hard for me to stick a sticker on something because then it's done. I've also got these really, really fancy, high-end, chrome, futuristic, reflective stickers. It looks, now, like these it, are... it looks like it's made out of a mirror or that guy from Terminator 2. The, yeah. It's... Now, this, this is a much higher stakes kind of sticker because these are obviously more expensive to make so they're more expensive to sell but they are worth it for that futuristic sheen kind of a luxury an... sticker you keep uh, talking, talking about, about steaks uh you sell any uh steaks again too expensive too expensive the whole mm. maintenance uh, keeping you, those you like a alive. low overhead <laughs> buy low sell high that's what i'm always saying I've never but heard no. him say that. I've never even heard that phrase. I say it all the time. I don't know what it means. It's my personal mantra. Uh, you're going to think about it tonight, Derek, and it's all going to come to you. But yeah, I mean, I just want to. I just want to take a minute on this sticker. Now, is this not a wonderful item? It's great. Beautiful. It's undeniable. You and these are all available. Burn ants. And these, these are, are available. All... Uh, now, where are they available? Uh, eBay, Kinkos, Craigslist. Uh, no. No, 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 you just hit me up on Venmo, at French Accent. Just send me money and I'll send you the goods. Venmo, at French Accent. Mm -hmm. Everyone in the chat, just start sending me money. Tell me what you want. Send us money, too. This, I don't know, shipping this, I don't know. We'll say $5 for this chrome sticker. That's a good deal. I mean, I don't know how much normal mail costs. Five bucks, five, ten bucks, something like that. Something, yeah. yeah. Can I show you guys some more of my line? Please. I want to go Let's through my entire cat. I, I have actually, I printed out a catalog sheet, which is something you guys are going to have to do with all the prices. And then if somebody buys a sticker, you include the, the catalog with the sticker. They're going to read it all over and they're going to see what they want. And, and you can sell them. You can sell them. On, okay. So for you, this can, one, for you example, can include an advertisement with the product they've already bought, which is in itself an advertisement. Yeah. It's like. It's an advertisement layers for and me. Layers. It's, just... it's an ad. For, for instance, this little sticker. Okay, I'm going to read you the copy in, from the catalog, and, and I think you're going to see the appeal. We don't have the exact measurements for this tasteful black and white sticker design, but we can assure you it's small and circular. Make your evenings intentions known, but quietly. That's good. Very nice. And you could leave that flyer at like grocery stores or nail it to telephone poles or whatever you want to do with it. You can, but if yeah. you put it in with the if you put it in with the order, it's more of a targeted audience kind of thing. Let me show you some more of my goods over here. Now, you want to move up from stickers a little bit into something a little more high tech? Yes. I'd love to. Magnets. It's kind of like a magnets. they're like stickers, but without yeah, it's the kind commitment. of like a sticker. That's what I was going to say. It's like a, but it's a sticker that you can put on and peel it off again. It, it'll st it'll stick to anything metal. Check it out. We've got this metal bench. Okay. Let's get a look. Oh, it's stuck you, right on there. Oh, yes. It's not falling off or anything. No. 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 And how the, fu how the fuck do they do that? How do they do that? There's a companion. It's it's science. There's a companion sticker. Oh, it's beautiful what they're doing these days. 
They're, it's not them. It's me. I put this together. This is, you, this is my you, you, you just did this from home. I did it all on my computer. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Uh, you, just, you have a vision and you have, you, you have an idea and you have a vision and it's really not that hard to do. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you something else I've learned, okay? If you, okay, so the show begins where, you know, the performer will come out on stage. And one thing I've learned, if you can make a room full of people chant anything for around five minutes, it doesn't matter what it is, just chanting anything, they're enjoying themselves. They're feeling really good. And then the second half of the show, or when the show really begins, there's a long line at the merch table. That's when the show begins. And they walk up to the merch table. That's the real you, show. That's when the show out their begins. Yeah. They walk up to the merch booth and they see a magnet with the same phrase that they've been chanting for five minutes. They're going to buy it. They're going to buy it. They, they have to buy it. They have they no choice. It. They, they don't even know why. They just they need it. They want it. They get excited. You say, oh, the magnet's $5. I mean, they don't wince. They just give you the five or they Venmo you five at French accent. And they go home happy with a sticker. And they're going to remember the really good time they had that night and the warm feeling they had chanting, fuck the night up with an entire room full of strangers and me leading them on. I feel like we're Absolutely. in a master class here. I, I just want you guys to do well with your line. I mean, I see you you guys are doing a little higher end stuff with the, the full, like the legs and stuff I mean, with the oh, full yeah. color it, prints. It, but like you said, it's like a huge startup cost. I mean, just just to order the Truth Point laundry machine, we're looking at like two grand or something for the custom. It's, uh, right. yeah, it's an, a, a, a bit of a steep entry fee, but it's worth it, you know? You know, the fact that you guys have a streaming show, I mean, you're, you're kind of starting off from a pretty high point anyway. Follow your follow your guts. I think you, you guys have the right instincts. I mean, yes, we got the chat chanting shit at us all the time. You know, there's right? some, like stuff like fuck Derek or Derek sucks all the time in the chat. We should put that on a t-shirt, maybe. Yeah. You might want to. You might want to do that. Magnets, guys. They're available. They're available now. You got anything else to show us? So much stuff here. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go through the whole catalog. I'm not kidding you. I've got these very, very popular major entertainer. Oh, you can't even see it. These enamel pins. They're all the rage. And enamel. The, now, the, now, that's what teeth are made out of. Or are the pins made out of what teeth are made of? Or, or teeth? Or what, how is it? Well, I mean, teeth are shiny. These are shiny. I guess that's where, the, where it comes together. I can't tell. Oh, there it is. It's the same as the sticker. It's me. Oh, are you huffing gasoline? Oh, I'm singing Fuck the Night Up. Oh. Uh, but the thing about these enamel pins that everyone likes is they, they take little pictures and they put them on Instagram, and it's just it's, it's great. It's a win-win. They can tag you on Instagram. They can tag me on Instagram. They, or they put it in their stories. I'll repost the story. Or, or they, could, they, could send you, they could send you money on Venmo and tag you on Venmo. But, but again, it's about the buyer. They're wearing this. This is something for them to wear. It's fashion. They're just a the, billboard for you. They're a billboard for me, and they're gonna pay. And they stop being they stop being a person, and they started being a product. And and they're paying me for the privilege. It's it's a wonderful system. It's incredible. These are brand new in the shop. These are so new they're not even in the catalog. These are plastic acrylic, transparent pins with my name on it, Mike. That's also the design of my album cover, my full length record. It's very big. We're going to get to that. How, how are we doing on time here? Oh, we're, we're doing pretty good on time, I think. We've got about 15 yeah. minutes left. Oh, okay. So. Yeah. That, we'll, we'll, we'll get through everything. We'll get through everything. So, yeah, you might want to start double timing it. Oh, right, because there's there's never any pacing issues on this show. Well, you know, there's... Never, never. Well, we got some questions, you know, the, okay. the loyal well, viewers sent in. Let, let, let's, okay, let's go on to the vinyl. Now, these these are... You can't really skimp around. These are my records. Um they're, they come on various colors of, of vinyl and, you know, paper sleeves, of course, you know, classic. This is a classic item, the seven inch single. It's a classic major entertainer item. Yes. And I've also got, now these are a little different. These are a little harder to sell. This is a, Why? this is a. Why is that harder well, to sell? Well, this is harder to sell because it's not necessarily about the buyer. It's more about me. I see. Cause it says Mike. And so and, if I was buying it, you're not going to, like, make a, a new sleeve that says Derek. Well, I mean, I usually will write their name on it. 
when they buy it at the show here so that they feel like they're a part of the record and you know they're, they're they are giving me twenty dollars for it so i'm happy to do it you know uh it's it's no problem yes you know that's a blue vinyl that's a blue vinyl record it's got all my greatest hits on it and uh i've also you know of course i've got t-shirts for sale oh 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 that's right? nice i've got this I've got this one, which is kind oh, of a. Uh, what would you call that? A salmon or? A yeah, that, that's. I would. I would call that a salmon or a peach. A salmon or a peach. I've also got the, the classic black, but it's only an extra small, so it's for. It's for. I really, can wear that. It's for really f small girls or extremely skinny men. Extremely skinny. Or perhaps uh, but, a I think I think that would uh, fit me pretty well. I mean, I don't know about all that other stuff you said, but yeah, like you said. Major Entertainer, another an older design, still available for limited time. And yeah, I mean, that's, okay, that's, we're fairly caught up on the merch. Yes. But you have a, yes. I believe, uh, sort of an audio supplement to the merch. I do. Now, here's, here's where I want it to get really tricky, okay? So I made this record, the open, it's my opening act single, and the B-side... I, I didn't just want to leave the B-side blank, so I put on here um, a song called T-Shirts for Sale, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, T-Shirts for Sale is actually an ad. It's an, it's an advertisement it's for kind of the like, T-Shirts. Uh, like a jingle. It, it's a jingle. It, it's exactly what it is. It's a sales jingle for the T-Shirts that I sell at the show, which is, of course, the entire reason to do the show is to sell these goddamn T-Shirts. People need it kinda, clothes. It, it, it forms a closed circle, which makes People, perfect logical sense. I mean, every single every single person in the audience is wearing clothes. I, I'd be a fool not to try and get in on the clothing business. That's I would a be a point. fool. They don't let so, guys not wearing shirts into the program. That's right. No, no, they don't. And we'll and whenever I see. Whenever I see people wearing these shirts, their band shirts or what you know, Metallica or Melvins or whatever they're wearing, it kind of hurts my feelings when they don't buy mine. But anyways, I'm gonna do the jingle for you guys and your your Truth Point audience. And uh, here, let me just adjust the audio for a second here. And um, hey, adjust the way. Let's away. see how this let's see how this goes. Checky checky, what the hecky? <laughs> Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Do you like what you see? Would you consider supporting me? T-shirts for sale. I got T-shirts for sale. I got T-shirts, I've got T-shirts, I've got T-shirts for sale. T-shirts for sale. I've got T-shirts for sale. I've got T-shirts for sale. I've got T-shirts, I've got T-shirts, I've got T-shirts for sale. Everyone wears T-shirts from bands. I drew the shirt with my own hands. Did a few designs, this one was best. Would you wear my name upon your chest? It's a lovely garment, high quality. Business exchange between you and me. T-shirts for sale. I got T-shirts for sale. I got T-shirts. I got T-shirts. I got T-shirts for sale. T-shirts for sale. I got. T-shirts for sale. I got stickers. I got magnets. I got red shirts for sale. Uh, well. Oh yes. Very nice. Oh yes. How, how did that come? Did that work? Did I sell any shirts? Sounded good. Uh, got a crotch shot going on there. Yeah, that sounds. I mean, I I want a T-shirt now, cause then I I'll think you know this is a 
This is a shirt I heard about in a song. This isn't just a shirt, this is an opportunity. It transcends the boundaries of shirt and audio, which have previously never been crossed. This is a brand collision, a car accident, if you will. I'm glad you guys understand what I'm trying to do. I, yes. I thanks so much for. I mean that that was we, you know we did our own presenta presentation earlier, but we really should have watched Mike's presentation first because uh, he just the professionalism, the skill. Uh, he had better stuff than us. Well, I don't know. I mean, I think you guys are aiming pretty high, and I think that high is a good place to aim. You know what I mean? I mean, we all start these things off with the purest of intentions, but at the end of the day, you want to move some merchandise and make some money. Yeah, our, our ambition Certainly. is our downfall. Anyway, uh, we've got some uh, questions sent in by the audience. The first question, uh, what's this week's topic? Stop showing this uh, question! It's the same guy, he does this every week. You know, I can help you with that. If you want to know what an uh, episode's topic is beforehand, you go to Microsoft Edge. You type in www.fuckyou.com. Get off. Next. Okay, Mike, what's the best way to stay true to you while at the same time having to market yourself? Marketing myself is staying true to me. Next question. There is no question. Uh, if I put my face on merchandise, is it better to make it more ugly or less ugly than my real face? Mike, you've put your face on merchandise. What do you think? You know, I went for more ugly. Uh, I noticed that. My, my friend JP, who's a very talented artist, drew, drew that of me. And when, it, when he drew it, I think he was trying to poke fun at me. But, you know, he just emailed it over like, ha, 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 look at you. And what did I do? <laughs> I printed it on thousands of stickers, shirts, records, and, you know. Making a profit is the best revenge. The joke's not on me anymore. Anytime someone tries to bully you, turn it around, make money on that. That's right, get, get their ass. ass. It's an opportunity. You know, uh, the Pep Boys, boys they're, they're hot in real life, but uh, on the signs, they're fucking ugly, they're hideous. Yeah, but and that's a nice surprise, too, because then when you see them in real life, you're like, oh my god. Yeah. These could be three uh, models. Next question. Uh, can we get a shirt of uh, Calvin pissing? No, no, no. How about we don't get a shirt of Calvin doing that? Because I don't think anyone should be pissing on me, you know? Yeah, if you think I should get pissed on, you, you can come piss on me man to man. How's that sound? You know, we'll see who gets the most piss on the other guy. That was a really strange response. What do you mean? This, this guy's well, I mean, piss we, on me. We have, an, we have an opportunity. We have an opportunity to sell a product, and you invite someone to I'm come piss, piss on, on you first. I'm gonna piss on him first before his piss hits me. Next question. I'll dodge his piss. <clears throat> Next question. Uh, merchandise is for pussies and old people. You guys should release a video game instead. Oh. Uh, we're working on a video oh, game. Wise guy. We're working on a video game. Uh, Mike, what do you think about video games? Uh, I don't really think about them that much. I'm one of the old people he's talking about. <clears throat> yeah, well, making video games is really hard. I don't think he knows that. You know, and if merch is for pussies, then what does that make you when you go to the grocery store to fucking feed your own mouth? What are you, a pussy for buying merch at the grocery store? This, this person asking the question has no idea what they're talking about. He doesn't None know what the economy even is. He's a child. I mean, even, even socialist countries have merch. Um, why, why do you think that put that guy's face everywhere? Next question. Uh, are brand preferences transferred from parent to child by nature? Why well, don't or we by a cum? Cum again. Well, that's cum and urine and piss. You know, beneath this vile question, there is a good question, which is: Are bread brand preferences passed from parent to child? Maybe Mike, could you address that? What do you think? Do you, does, do you like all the same things your dad likes? No. In fact, I'm always amazed whenever there is a, a, a child, a, a young man who just follows in his father's, every single thing his dad likes, that's what he likes. I never got that. I never wanted anything mm. to do with that stuff. And I, no, that doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. So I don't think, I don't think that, that, that there's anything to what this question is. Well, you got the nature, no. you got nurture, and you got 
the third one, which is hypnosis. And that's what the brands are. Uh, yes, I mean, I, you know, I think Mike's song was hypnotic in a way. Yeah. I mean, I don't think I was born liking Mike's shirt. I think it ha was transferred via mesmerization. But not by your father. But not oh, by yeah. your father. Not by my, no, my dad's been dead for years. Next question. Any tips for selling high-rise apartments in Chicago? Rebrand them. As what? As good apartments? Probably have to take a focus group out on that, but... Yeah. I think uh, you should wait for COVID to get worse. You know, everyone will move out. And, uh, you know, Chicago's the windy city, right? You know, the wind will blow all the COVID right out of there. And people want to come back. And uh, demand will explode. So uh, if you can hold on to those high-rises without dying of COVID, uh, you're set for life. You did it. You just broke the code. I did it. Th that's it. You just rebranded those apartments. I nailed it. And we get a 10% of the commission or whatever you make from selling those apartments. Underwear. Are you selling underwear? I need a new supplier. Uh, for us, no. We don't deal in uh, pervert goods, you know, that's, like sexual goods. That's, like yeah, underwear. that's stuff that touches genitals. Mike, what do you think? Agree. I'm with you guys on that. Let's stay far, far away from that area. Done. Next question. Where can I buy Drill Derek and the Armored Man Funko Pops? You can't buy those. Why would you want to buy those? Uh, first of all, the Armored Man is not a Truth Point He's not a property character. of Truth Point. He's we, not don't, a, we don't associate with him or think of him any, at any point he, in our he lives, did, he day did, to day. He did some really bad shit, interference in Drill's life. We don't believe in him anymore. He uh, he's not real. My therapist told me he's not real. I don't, that's a weird, therapist should help you face your fears and not help you ignore them. But yeah, I mean, what fucking therapist you go what, to? What's wrong with my fucking lip here? It looks like I, I, I think the fucking Truth Point Vitality drink has been giving me a cleft palate. Next question, please. Question. Is it worth it to market to niche, niche demographics? For example, uh, like one person. Mike, what do you think? Is one person, is there an audience of one? Which person? I don't know. There, there, yeah. Um, I think that an audience is built one person at a time. I think if there's an army of one, there's an audience of one. An audience I of one who wanted me. Great. Is that it? Are we, is that all the questions? Yes. Beautiful. Mike, thanks so much for joining us tonight in this uh, very special extravaganza explosion of beautiful, you know, ideas it's about a very, products. Very exciting episode. Very exciting uh, show tonight. Um, I didn't hey. get pissed off a single time. I and when, and when I was yelling, I was just having fun. And we're going to make so much money off this shit. We're going to get, we're going to be rich. Real, Derek, we better thank be, you. Because I have nothing else. Thank you for having me on the show and allowing me to display my catalog to your audience and to you guys as well. You know, drop by the merch store after. I you mean right. your 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 Venmo or? Yeah, my Venmo or yeah, just Instagram. Just find find me online and we'll we'll make a deal. Yeah, you can. I mean, because a store is also overhead, right? You know, just I don't, people... I don't even have a web store. Uh -uh. I'm Certainly. in Bandcamp. Yeah, but people should just. Deal to I mean, if they see you on the street, they should just come up to you and ask if they can give you money. Oh, I'm all about deals. Oh, you guys are right. This this was a dynamic. What do you want? What? Uh, well, sorry, Truth, truth is a fucking robot. One. Truth, truth uh, has something to say. What do you want? It has been done. What? What has been done? What, what the, the fuck, fuck is this? I oh. didn't ask for this. Truth boy, can cancel this. Cancel this truth spot. That's his wife. Truth box, man. Get rid of it.